What's going on everybody? This is Mike, Living with 3M. Thought I would come to you today. We're gonna make a video about switching out the kitchen faucets. Um, going from what we have back here, just the standard hot and cold, and, and it's also got the uh, dish sprayer that never works. I don't know about yours. I think ours is a price fister, however you say it. Price Fister, yeah, Price Fister, but it's supposed to be a really reputable brand, uh, but the sprayer never has worked right. We've had it a few years, but we've talked about upgrading to the gooseneck where you, and the detachable end where you could use it as the sprayer. Really nice, uh, a little more expensive. It's the nickel, uh, I think it's the brushed nickel plated uh, Delta, and we're going to swap that out today. So I'll give you a uh, demonstration or a how-to uh, if you're considering swapping out your faucets. All right, and you guys can see the price fister is just a oh yeah squeaky. And let's see, see if you can see the name price fister. It's kind of embossed in there, but. Needless to say, I'll, I'll give you guys a demonstration. I'm constantly having to replace these cartridges as well. They leak all the time. And it's a it's a factory warranty. It's a lifetime warranty. So that's kudos to them for that. But they leak about once a year. I'm having to change them out. This thing here never works right, as you can see. Never has worked right. And then when you let off of it, where's your water going? I mean, it's just, it's terrible. You gotta cut it off, then cut it back on to get your pressure right. I hate it. I've hated it for a long time. So, we're going with this one right here. So you guys, I don't know if you can see the part number. I got it at Home Depot. So, went with the Delta. I think it was around 189, 189 bucks, something like that. So we're gonna see what the difference is. Uh, there's one thing that I want to mention that's very important, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's on here. Yes, right here. It's one or three hole sinks. Now, the holes in your sink are basically where there are holes and you can get up under there and look if you don't want to take this off and count hot water cold water main tube feed and dishwasher sprayer so i have a four hole okay the reason i did not go with a kit you can get a kit uh, i'm not sure this unit comes with it but you look for one that has how many holes your sink has in it. And usually if it's a four hole, they come with a little over here to the side. It's um, you press on it and soap comes out. So it's a little soap dispenser. I opted not to get that because those have a lot of issues. I'll show you what I got. And this is also at Home Depot. Um, it's a universal sinkhole cover. So, brushed nickel finish. So it goes exactly with, it, it will work with stainless, your stainless sink. But what it's designed to do is that when this thing comes out, it's gonna leave a hole right there. This thing just pops right down in the hole and covers it up. It's decorative. That's its only purpose is to cover the hole. And you can get that also at Home Depot. I think it was around seven, eight bucks. So there you go. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to open up the box and see what we have. And pardon me as far as we got Goldens eating and drinking. So, and they, they're not very gracious when it comes to knowing that I'm doing a video and being quiet, so. All right, so this is what we're looking at. 
I got some little brochures and instructions. That's good, good detailed instructions. And get a little kit here. And all kinds of uh, things. So, very heavy. Okay, so we're gonna go through the instructions read up on it first is what I do recommend. And before you, I guess, first and foremost, either turn your water off at the meter or under here, I've got shut off valves. So I can, I can shut both hot water and cold water off, isolate them here. Uh, but if you don't have that option, which you should, you really should, um, then you can go turn it off out in your yard with, uh, little t-bar and shut the main water off but we're going to shut it off under here uh, disassemble this read the instructions and then proceed with installing the new unit okay so read my instructions and i opened the packet to lay lay out some items all right there's a little allen wrench washers okay in the instructions it says have two adjustable wrenches i just got the channel locks just in case phillip head screwdriver and a flashlight so you got a few more parts there small washers all right and clean out from under the sink so there's nothing in your way also, you may want to lay some towels down uh, under there as well if, because when you disconnect, there is going to be some water drip and we're going to remove this first. All right, we're going to go up under here just so you guys can see there's the uh, ice maker line, the stainless line going over to the side. And uh, I teed that in right there that's the cold water over there you'll see the hot water faucet let me see if i can get over here yeah there you go hot water and cold water so we're going to turn those both off to begin with okay so i think i've got the water off so before you go undoing anything let's verify both yes just a couple drips but the water is on valves are off so that verified that we have both of those sorry the dishwasher drain is getting in the way of seeing that one all right they are off so now we're going to disconnect the lines Okay, one thing I did not mention, I'm gonna mention it now. We're not gonna disconnect here because our ice maker is here. So we're gonna disconnect this one because it goes straight up to the cold water. So we're gonna leave all this. We're gonna disconnect here. Okay guys, I'm gonna to have to take that top gray Teflon line in the very back, see the brass T. I'm gonna have to take that loose, but I'm having trouble getting to it because it's black dishwasher drain. So I'm gonna remove that just so I can get back in there. All right, you guys can see the dishwasher drain was right here and that wire was right up against that T. So now I can get to that T and disconnect that bad boy right there from the top of the T. That's what we need. All right, get that loose from the T going up to there and got that one loose to the cold water. So now while we're under here and over here, hope my fingers don't get in the way of the camera. You're going to twist and loosen that. That's your sprayer. All right. 
So the sprayer's loose. Okay, we're back up on top, but I had forgot to mention one thing where we uh, loosened the black wing nut or the finger tight here. You've also got one holding this in place, holding this in place. So two more, so it'd be a total of three black wing nuts. And that's what really holds this down. I've got those loose and sorry for the mess, but you know, we don't clean under there. Nobody does. So those wing nuts will go on there and there. And we're gonna disconnect that, pull it out. Okay, all right, we got that disconnected and I threw it outside cause it's a uh, waste. Not gonna try and uh, even give that or sell it to anybody because uh, that spray knob, that spray nozzle wasn't working correctly. So it's really junk. It served its purpose. It lasted us about six or seven years, I would think. So, okay, a lot of men that I know personally would just say, shit with that, you're not gonna see it, cover it up, put the new one on and run with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, just in case the wives are watching, exactly what you should do. And that is use stainless steel cleaner and clean that up, guys. Even though you won't be able to see it, I know, but we're going to do the job right. All right, I've sprayed that and tried to wipe some down. But I went and uh, cut me a small piece of the... Uh, oh, yeah, that works so much better than just a normal ray. A little scotch Bright pad. Oh, yeah, it's going to clean everything up real nice. Okay, I'll scrub this down and... Move to the next step. Okay, as you can see that little spacer, still yet to put the wing nut on the bottom. Just put it on there, just see how good it look. Looks great. Put that part on. And the reason I can't show you anything else with that is all of this will feed down through that. So we're going straight down through the hole with one, two, three, four tubes. Okay, so I have black plastic mount, washer nut type deal, uh, wing nut, I guess you'd call it with your hand, mounted here, here, up under. And in the middle, there is a brass horseshoe looking washer that goes around the brass which a nut goes on but then it isolates three of the other tubes so i'll show you up underneath but basically everything from the top is as what it will look like all right there's one end tab with the wing nut right there there's that uh, decorative cover with the wing nut all right, you come over here, you will see in the middle, the brass, I'll point to it right there. Hard to see, there's a black tube that goes on this middle tube. That's where you pull the faucet head in and out to rinse dishes. So, and you, and there's a nut on the end of that. So when you thread this over this line and go up, tighten it and it will tighten the whole assembly. I advise to have someone up top to make sure it's centered. I didn't, so I kept having to jump out from under and then back down. So, um, but okay, and there's the other wing nut. So now we are going to have three basically three cables here. These were down here, they're just long. Okay, so one, I don't know if you can see this. One is red and one is blue. I don't know if you can see it, but everything's going blurry under here, but red for hot water, blue for the cold water. And this one here, 
this one. That's your faucet extender to wash the dishes. It will go right here. So we're going to connect that and you've got a blue sort of piggyback piece that connects them together and holds them together and seals. Then we will put everything back together. We'll connect these water lines, basically cold water will go to here. One of these tubes, the one with the blue will go here. Sorry. We'll go here and I'll show you where the hot water will go. Hot water will go right there, right there on the end of that T. So hot water there, that's a dishwasher T. And back over here, cold water. So three hookups, hot water, cold water, and the main um, extender for the to wash dishes. Okay. Okay, guys. One thing in the instructions that was not super clear was that I had to have this little thing on here. It's basically a big hockey puck full of sand. It's a weight that when I go to pull this down, it pulls it back up or assists it in pulling it back up. All right, we just finished up with the install. As you can see, you got that. You pull this, goes back, locks, change it, different spray patterns, different, I don't really know what that does, but probably don't have the water pressure on enough. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, just different spray patterns. So, okay guys, that's the Delta. Uh, I think it's called a Leland, Delta Leland faucet. So installed that. And if you don't, like I said, if you don't want to do the block off plate here, you can do the um, one with supplied that has the hand pump for soap. I'm not sure how that works. I've never owned one, but you can look those up. All right, this is Mike, Living with 3M. Hope this helped you guys change your faucet out.